Hi, it's Nick here. I'm here to show you how to use Square Kicker to change the background color of your section on scroll, but also how to change the text color or even image on scroll. So right here we have a section and this is exactly what we are gonna show you how to do on this video. Cool, so I head down to my section and I'll just show out a couple key components. So the first thing I'm gonna do is have a shape block. This is gonna be important because this is what we're gonna use to change the background color of your section. So I'm gonna take my shape block and I'm gonna span it across my entire section, just like this. Let's just get this grid to go right to the end here. Sometimes we just need to move it around just a little bit more. There we go. Snap it to the edge of my sections. Let's just drag it down, that's working there. Cool. Um, the next thing I also want to notice is that my section on Squarespace is showing the fill height. So there's the edge of my grid and when I stretch it, I can't get past the grid. So in Squarespace, I just need to go over here and turn off fill screen. That will allow my grid to go right to the top so I can get my shape block to the top of the screen. Um, the next thing I want to do is use scrolling effects to change the background color on scroll. So I'm going to head into my Square Kicker tools and go to advanced scrolling effects and I'm going to use a custom timeline for this because I want to be really specific of when I want my section to change color. So you can see that my cursor here is pointing on my trigger for my triangle and that's my shape block and then my shape block is showing when the center of my shape block is the center of the screen um, it's going to start animating. So the center of my screen or my start of my animation is at 43 percent and at 43 percent I want everything before that to be at 0% opacity. That's important. Um, and when it gets to my center, which is showing my yellow dot, that's actually gonna be my 100%. And when of course, when it gets to the very end, I'm gonna keep it staying at 100%. So I have my entry at zero, and when I get to my center point, 60, it's gonna turn, in, it's gonna turn fully visible, just like that. So pretty simple. In fact, if I wanna change where this goes, I want to start a bit earlier. I'm just gonna bring that start of my animation to here. So now my animation will start just a little bit earlier, just like that. Now, the cool thing is you can see, that if I hit apply, um, I can see that my text color is kind of, well, it's not really that well visible, um, if you will, beyond that. So if I wanna create this effect here where I see that my text color is this color and then it transitions to white, I'm gonna to wanna to do something a little bit differently. So I'm gonna have two different text blocks. And what I want this to do is actually hide this one on a certain point. And when it turns to black, I want it to reveal. So let's do that here with scrolling effects. And I'm gonna to go to my scrolling effects. Again, I'm gonna use my custom timeline. And then when it's sitting right about the same place where my screen is turning, which is right about here, I want my animation to start. So let's bring my green down. That's the start of my animation. And then of course, again, at 100%, which is my center, I want that to turn to my white color so it's fully visible now. So I've got that now, that section, changing my text color at the same time. That's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So lastly, I wanna change this image on scroll. So I've got two different images here. This one's sitting in the back, and again, I want this one to be visible. So to make this just a little bit more fun, I'm just gonna go into scrolling effects and go to advanced, and go to scrolling effects, and again, my custom timeline, really helpful to see when I want this to show up. So I want this image to be fully invisible, and when it gets to my center again, I want it to show up. But you see, I have a couple of different things going on. I've got this kind of rotation as well as my scale. So I'm just gonna go to my scale and my rotation and turn those off for just a moment. That's a bit more advanced. We're gonna get there next and see how my image is just kind of slowly fading in. That's all I wanna do. So let's just go over here and place it right on top. And you can see how my image is just changing on scroll. Real simple. Now, if we wanna go the next level, that's where we're gonna go into our square gigger effects. And we're just gonna do a couple fun things like turn on scale and rotation as well. And then when we have our scale and rotation, it's gonna do a slight kind of spin as it comes in. It's gonna start at 95% and go to 100, and then oh, it's gonna do from minus three degrees to zero degrees to three degrees. So let's make that exact same animation on the block behind it, because that's gonna be cool to line them up. So we went to scrolling effects, and then we also had scale. Let's turn on scale, and our custom timeline, we want to line up to be exactly where we had it. So they're both kind of moving in the same place. It's important to write these down, which I didn't, but you kind of get the idea. So minus three degrees and three degrees. 
and scale is at 95 to 95 and to 100 rather. So now when I line these two up, they're gonna move in the exact same order in the same time. And so it looks like they're rotating and scaling and changing all at the same time. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope this video was really helpful and you can create some next level sites using Square Kicker and scrolling effects with zero code.